Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the XMatters Business Continuity Platform. This is the first in a two-part series of videos showing you the features and capabilities of XMatters and how to use it as a business continuity coordination tool and an emergency mass notification solution. Let's start off with a scenario where you, as a business continuity coordinator, has had an incident brought to your attention and you need to warn your emergency response teams about it. We log into the XMatters platform, either through the web interface or via the mobile app, and we're immediately presented with a dashboard giving us quick access to the various forms that we might need to initiate communications. So we can click into this first link, configured as a gold team notification for a fire in London scenario. We've got some pick lists here, some nested hierarchies, and some free text fields. Now, since we're engaging our gold teams across the world, it makes sense that we already have those gold teams pre-populated by this scenario in the recipients boxes. These particular groups have their own rotors and schedules built into them. So rather than notifying the entire San Francisco gold team, we can actually notify just the people that are on call. The groups then use their own escalation paths that chase other members of their team if the first people don't respond within a timely manner. Alternatively, we may not actually need all of the gold team on this particular event, so we can even tell XMatters to stop notifying once we receive a certain number of responses. Finally, with every communication sent by XMatters, we can control what delivery channels we want to use, including iOS and Android push notifications or SMS, through to voice calling and email notifications. So we can hit send message, and fire that notification out to the groups that were specified. Based on the current on-call schedules, XMatters has determined that there are only five people that currently need to receive that notification across all of the groups. This live tracking dashboard shows the current status of this notification series. Now, if we bring up my phone on the screen, here you can see that I've already had a message come through and we can quickly preview the content of the SMS. At the bottom there, we've got the response options available. Next, if we bring up the XMatters mobile app, you can see that we have the content of that message, again, completely customizable to be on par with your company's brand. And at the bottom, we have the responses. I'm going to acknowledge this notification to say I'm available to help. And you'll see that response come back into our tracking dashboard here in real time. We can click into that to see who's responded how they responded and when they responded. So we have a full audit trail of everything going out and coming back into X Matters. And my response comments are tracked on the screen there as well. So very quickly, we've been able to see who we've contacted and who's responded. If need be, we can even add these users to a separate group. So we can name this incident, create a group with those users, and then use that as part of this next step of the event. Now that we've alerted all of our gold teams, we can gather those users onto a conference bridge so we can collaborate on this incident and determine our next steps. We can either use the X Matters conference bridge or we can connect to third party conference bridges as well. X Matters supports tools such as Microsoft Teams, Slack, or Skype for Business, pretty much any tool that you're using as a collaboration platform. Our recipients have again already been specified and all devices are now checked, particularly the voice option, because we want XMatters to call these users and give them an easy method of joining this conference bridge. When we hit send message this time, we get another live tracking dashboard, and you can see these notifications coming through on my mobile device. More importantly, here comes the voice call, which we can put on speakerphone. You are receiving an automated conference bridge request. Press any digit to hear your message. Hello, Nathan. This is a gold team conference. Discuss the plan of action. Please attend as soon as possible. To respond with, join the bridge. Press one. To repeat this, you will now be placed in the conference bridge. Okay, and there we go. In less than a minute, we've been notified with a voice call and simply pressed one to be connected to the bridge. From this live conference view, you can also see who else is connected. 
So we save valuable time not having to do roll calls because we can see that information right here on the screen. We can also mute people if they're in a noisy environment, again, cutting down an unnecessary time being wasted. And we can even disconnect somebody from the bridge if they shouldn't be on the call, such as when you're talking about a confidential issue. Coming back to the dashboard, you can see now that my dashboard has been updated with all of the events that have just been triggered. So in terms of managing the incident or doing reviews on the incident after the event, you've got all of the data around who was notified, who responded, how they responded and when they responded, all tracked within these individual reports and available for quick access. If you're interested in seeing how to use XMASSES to send mass notifications to your employees as part of your business continuity management process, and more importantly, helping you to account for their safety and get responses back from them, check out our second video. Thanks for watching.